Today's match is in the books, and now it's time to break it down. Welcome to Cougar Post Match Live. Toward the byline, cross coming to the sixth. It's hiding in! Michaela Coolahan! Post match coverage of BYU women's soccer is brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union, guiding you forward. Smith's, low prices, market fresh at Smith's. And by Zions Bank. For banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge, Zions Bank is for you. Now let's get you back to your host, Jason Shepard. Jefferson, free kick into the box, headed in and scored by Michaela Coulihan. Off the free kick from Alyssa Jefferson. And Michaela Coulihan scores her second goal of the evening. And BYU leads 3-1. to one. That was Michaela Coulihan's second goal of the evening. BYU would add another off the foot of Rachel McCarthy. The Cougars win 4-2 to two here at Southfield. They will wrap up non-conference play with a perfect 10-0 record. The fifth-ranked BYU Cougars beginning West Coast Conference play next Saturday on the road at Santa Clara. Certainly a big one to start things off in conference play. Michaela Coulihan will be our post-game guest. Uh, hoping to have her over here at our broadcast location coming up in, in just a few minutes. Certainly one of the things I want to ask her about was just the, the physicality of this game tonight. It was, it was definitely a physical match. BYU leading on the final scoreboard 4-2, to two, and to nobody's surprise, taking more shots than UC Irvine, 18-7 to seven in favor of BYU. Shots on, 6-2 to two in favor of the Cougars, and then obviously four goals to two, BYU getting the victory. What were your overall thoughts on, on again, a very physical night for BYU? Yeah, I think it, it gives a lot of, um, well, I think UC Irvine came ready to win, right? They did not come in here to tie the number five team in the country or to, to maybe not be scored on six or seven times. They came to win, which I think is a really good thing for BYU to learn. When they come away from from a game like this, they're going to have a lot to build on. When they go into conference play, they're going to remember, hey, we were, we were able to win even though we were down a goal and we trailed for the first time in the season. We were also able to win when we weren't playing great. And not to mention we were able to win when a team could finally find the back of the net on us. Well, and someone that found the back of the net twice, joining us now, Michaela Coulihan. We, we heard your goal to put BYU on top 3-1 to one, uh, just a second ago. First of all, congratulations on the win. Congratulations on the way you guys played in non-conference, a perfect 10-0 and record. How did this one feel tonight? We were talking about the physicality of this, and this was a really physical game. Yeah, I'm sure that was one of their uh, motivating factors. I mean, it's hard. I, when you come in against a team that's undefeated, you obviously are going to want to beat them really bad and have a lot of fire, and I'm sure it's just energy and um, a lot of motivation to beat us kind of results in fouls and physicality and stuff like that. How surprised were you guys to be down one nothing in the second minute? Yeah, that I mean, they hit a great corner. Um, not uh, We should have been bigger in the air, but they did. It was kind of better offense but beats good defense. So um, uh, we responded really well. It's the first time that's happened to us, obviously. First time we've even been scored on in the run of play, and... Um, so it was great to see us, how we came out from that. I'm kind of glad that it did happen once so that we showed ourselves how we could respond. Yeah, we were kind of talking about that too. And, you know, as as analysts, we were excited to see what you guys would do with it, right? You guys are, are kind of – you outmatch them on speed as well as the ability to possess. Speaking of possession, you guys came out and did you, you changed formations. Yeah. So what was kind of the adjustment and what made you guys go to that? So we played a 4-2-3-1. We normally play a 4-4-2. Um, Two holding mids, easier to build out of the back, kind of keep it in the midfield. I think in the first half we lost it in transition a lot. We were losing it in the midfield third a lot. So I think that was good just to have more numbers, have more outlets coming out of our uh, back line. They were putting a lot of pressure on us. So, And I think it helped a lot. We were able to knock it around a lot better. So Yeah, and it freed your space up because Jamie Shepard wasn't always back in and she was kind of being able to, to create more space for you with uh, Ashton Brockman kind of helping her out. Exactly, yeah. So they could kind of play off of each other. Um, and then that allows me to stay higher. I don't have to get back on defense as much because we already have another midfielder back there. And so then I'm able to find it in those pockets a little higher on the field. You pick up goals five and six on the season. How do you feel you played tonight personally? I think I played pretty good. Um, well, two goals. I'd say that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, not all about goals all the time. I mean, I am happy that uh, we were able to obviously score and win. That's what matters. But uh, I'd like to see myself <laughs> be a little bit more dynamic, get the ball in a more dangerous situation so that I can distribute a little bit better. I felt like I got it and kind of lost it a little too often in the attacking third, but 
It's okay. Learn from it. And speaking of learning, what did you learn about this team in non-conference play? Now that non-conference is over, everything you do there is to prepare yourself for West Coast Conference play. We're at that point now. So where do you feel you guys made your biggest progress in the non-conference schedule? I mean, obviously going 10-0, and 0, kind of all as a group, um, all of non-conference play kind of sets you up for conference, obviously going like that. But uh, this game was big because I don't think you necessarily – we don't look at the team like, okay, we need to adjust the team. We always kind of come out the same no matter who we play. Um, they obviously were coming out hard, ready to beat us, but uh, the way that we responded to them going down one goal for the first time of the season, I think that's big for us. Getting scored on for the first time, it's big for us as well. It's just showed us a little more than what's happened so far in the season. So I think this one was big for us going into a tough game next week. Yeah, and I think the, the number one takeaway from this is that you guys are, are, real, are a really gritty team. This game was not pretty. Like most of the games you guys have played, it's a clean sheet in the back, you know, a couple of, of shots that maybe aren't that good or like they don't go on frame. But like pr for the most part, BYU executes. But tonight it was like there were some random things going on, and I think it's it's going to be something that you guys really pride yourselves on, playing teams that maybe aren't as highly ranked as you like, like a Pacific or something. Yeah, I completely agree. And like we've said, we're going to get everybody's best game, and sometimes it's not going to be pretty, so it's good to know we can respond in different ways. It's not always going to be the same pretty game and go exactly yeah. how we want it to. But Well, and now you get a couple of days. You get to prepare and uh, begin West Coast Conference play on the road next week at Santa Clara. Michaela, great stuff. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Congratulations on the win and the two goals. Thank you. Thanks, guys. You bet. Michaela Coulihan, our postgame guest. We'll take a break. We'll come back and talk with the head coach of the Cougars, Jennifer Rockwood. BYU gets the win 4-2 to two on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Welcome back to Cougar Post Match Live on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. For the final word on today's match, let's rejoin Avery Walker and Jason Shepard. BYU remains unbeaten. They are now 10-0 on the season. Fifth-ranked team in the country. They will open up West Coast Conference play a week from tonight on the road at Santa Clara. Cougars getting the win 4-2. We are now joined by the head coach of the BYU Cougars, Jennifer Rockwood. Coach, uh, congratulations on the win. I, I think we were all probably a little surprised to find BYU down one nothing in the second minute. We're just not used to seeing that. No, I mean... Uh that was a fantastic corner and a great finish. The girl just, I mean, she, that was a great goal. <laughs> Got to give them credit. Uh, they did a great job against us and, and gave us all we could handle and then some. But, you know, we haven't had to play from behind. This uh, I don't know that we've had to this whole season. So um, if you're going to play from behind, might as well be in the first minute, right? So, <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it was a great goal. And, um, you know, Irvine did a fantastic job of, of trying to shut down what we like to do, which is get up and down on the sidelines and, you uh, it was uh, hard, and it kind of got us a little rattled, and we had to shift to a, a different formation, and that seemed to open things up for us a little bit. Well, and it was a very physical night all the way around. A lot of, lot of yellow cards, a lot yeah. of whistles, a lot of arguing back and forth between, uh, between uh, officials and players and coaches and whatnot. Just how physical did it, did it feel for you? Uh, it was pretty physical. There, there's no question. Uh, I think both teams are hopefully um, came out of it without any injuries, but, you know, everybody's playing to to get results and uh you know irvine is you know they're getting ready for their conference play they have a, a great chance as anyone to win their conference um uh you know we're getting ready for our conference play and you know we're, we're trying to yeah. win our conference so you know it's it's not just you don't just play these games to you know see what happens i mean people are playing to win and irvine came to win this game and and you could see they gave a great effort um you know, the, the other second goal they scored was a brilliant shot, and we were fortunate so that they uh, weren't able to put away the PK. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, no, I think you're, you're, you hit it right on the money, and I was kind of saying that right after the game ended. It's like this team came to win, and I don't know if BYU has seen, I, I, kind of, I called it a, a not-so-pretty game yet, mm -hmm. which is really going to give BYU the confidence going into games that are they're just going to require a lot more scrappy play mm -hmm. and a lot more grit as far as after it the opposing team scores a goal, which is like, okay, back to our process. Yeah, exactly. And, and that's, you know, like I said, these these games are all about preparation for the next game. And there's lots we can take from this game. We can certainly clean up some things. Uh, but it was a fight. The girls uh, gave it everything and uh, got some good minutes. I mean, Rachel's score was a goal, was a fantastic goal. Um, Ashton went in and gave us a, you know, obviously played the whole second half and we went to, you know, a 4 2 3 1. Uh, but it just opened things up for us because, uh, you know, like I said, give a lot of credit to Irvine. They take, they took away 
our strength in the first half, and we didn't we weren't able to make too many adjustments. So the second half girls came out and uh, we put some away well and, and to you your point that we've talked about really all season the this team's ability to kind of see what's happening mm-hmm. then make the adjustments and then go out and execute you talked about the the format change and mm-hmm. and you guys you know switching things up a little bit that's when things really started that you you were able to take advantage of that once that change was made yeah like i said they were taking away what we've been successful with a lot for the last nine games and uh and so we just had to open it up a little bit and find Kayla. We're just, you know, you got to find your 10. And that's something we talked about. They took that away from us in the first half. And we, we made some adjustments. And the girls did a really good job of, of staying wide up top and then finding Kayla in the middle. And Kayla makes great things happen. She's yeah. an unbelievable, smart player. And uh, we're fortunate that she didn't get too hurt tonight because she had some – she got knocked down a lot. Yes, she did. Yeah. You mentioned that uh, UC Irvine did a, a great job of – you know, kind of exploiting those weaknesses and gave you a lot to work on. What are you kind of going into next week thinking about? Um, I think we just uh, need to do what we've been doing. I mean, we don't have to make any drastic changes. We just, you know, continue to clean some things up. I mean, we can learn from that corner kick. Uh, you know, she was unmarked, and yeah. it was a perfect placement and a perfect finish. And so we just got to clean that up and not give up a corner kick in the in the first 30 seconds of the game. So, um Again, it's, it's great to learn from some, some mishaps and some mistakes uh, when you win. And when you score a goal, you know, the girls almost feel like things didn't happen. But we scored four goals, and we won, and yeah. we're 10-0. and 0. So, uh, you know, as a staff, you have to remind the girls that that's quite an accomplishment. Uh, not many people have done that. And uh, every game is going to be hard. Every game is going to be uh, a battle, and you're not, it's not just going to come easy. And, and as we go into conference, again, it's a good reminder that – what we've done is in in building towards it doesn't just happen because we've done it in the past. You've got to reset and play every game, and we all know we'll have our hands full of Santa Clara next weekend. Absolutely, and that's what I want to end on. Just your thoughts on the conference in general and then obviously the matchup with the Broncos. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, our expectation is to, to go in and get results and win the conference championship like it is every year, but our conference has gotten off to a better start in non-conference play there's a lot of teams that are have picked up their game and have had great results and so I think every game in conference is a challenge it's it's just I think everybody would say that in any conference once you get into conference play it's it's kind of fair game no matter what happens in uh in in non-conference so we'll have our hands full but I think we're ready for the challenge we've proven um on the road and at home we can grind it out when we need to we can find ways to get wins and we've got a lot of dangerous weapons absolutely coach congratulations on the win being able to Go undefeated in non-conference play is so remarkable, and I know everybody's really excited to to see this team in action next Saturday on the road at Santa Clara. Yeah, absolutely. I'm excited to watch them play too. There we go. Thanks, thanks. Coach. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. There we go. That's uh, that's going to do it from Southfield tonight. BYU getting the win, four to two over UC Irvine, remaining undefeated, the fifth ranked team in the country, now ten and zero, wrapping up non-conference play tonight at Santa Clara for the beginning of West Coast Conference play next Saturday. For my broadcast partner, Avery Walker, my name is Jason Shepard. Thank you for tuning in. This is BYU Women's Soccer on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You have been listening to live coverage of BYU Women's Soccer on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Coverage of today's match has been brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union, guiding you forward. Smith's, low prices, market fresh at Smith's. And by Zions Bank. For banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge, Zions Bank is for you. BYU Women's Soccer is a production of BYU Athletics in association with BYU Broadcasting. BYU Women's Soccer is an exclusive presentation of the new skin, BYU Sports Network.